Oh, wait a minute. Is it working? Can you guys hear me? Let me know. Let me know. Can you guys hear me? Let me know. Happy Savage Sunday and happy Mother's Day to all you amazing, awesome mothers out there, if you can even hear me. Uh, what's up, Lori? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. What up, Peter? That's what's up. Let me say hello to some of you guys really quick here. Christina, Lori, Major Michael Payne. What up, Rooted Explorations? Nicole, Sharon. What's up, Jen? Living behind the camera. Adele Stanley. What's good? Timothy. We got Gunny in the house. Danny. What up, Danny? Ricky, Nelly, Hillary, Larry, Philip. What up, Amber? Hey, Paula, Jasmine. Big shout out at the end of the day to all you mothers out there. Again, man, you guys put the heartbeat into family like I put on Twitter earlier today. But uh, I'm sorry I'm a little bit late. I started on time and like it wasn't working. Then my mother called me because I've been trying to get a hold of her all day. And uh, I talked to her. I said I have to call her back. I talked to her for like two minutes. And... Um, then I tried to start the stream and it started, but like nobody was commenting anything. It was really, really weird. Uh, so I had to restart my phone and you know, you know the process. We go through this all the time. I swear it's crazy. I think from now on, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start 10 minutes early every live stream so that if I'm 10 minutes late, I'm actually on time. Does that sound like a good idea? I think that's. guys like super super stressful um i know i was supposed to get some videos out there the good news is i'm gonna be dropping um man i got like literally three videos to drop uh just during the week this week i have uh one video which is a very interesting video another one is going to be part two to the last video where my boy omar gosh tv and i went to the craziest haunted hospital that i've ever been to when we were in texas and just the whole time we were there, it was crazy. Like as soon as I got there, I started feeling sick and something happened at the end, which was just completely insane. Um, I don't even know how to describe it. It's something that I've never really experienced. Um, super spooky, especially since I've like looked at the footage. Um, then I got to send um, some footage to my boy, Rich, who's been editing for me. Definitely go check out my homie, Rich, the steel one, that's his channel. Uh, he's been putting up some bangers himself, and uh, he's going to help me get caught up this week on some videos because your boy has been slacking. Not really been slacking, but I've been slacking with, with that, so I definitely need to get caught up on there. But 100% guys, new video tomorrow, and I'm excited because uh, it's, it's going to be insane. Matter of fact, I'm going to pull an all-nighter tonight, guys. So I got so much stuff to do. Um, plus I need to edit, plus I need to send stuff to Rich, plus I need to package up like 30 packages to ship out tomorrow, plus I need to email a bunch of people, um, just because I've just been so far behind. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get into kind of like how my week has been going, what's kind of happened, because it's been pretty insane, to be honest with you, super stressful. I mean, you know, I really do believe, I put something on Twitter this week, um, and I can't remember exactly what I said, but... I truly believe that, you know, when you try to come up with something new or you spend a lot of time, put a lot of hard work into something to make sure it goes right, you know, to better your life or to, you know, whatever, um, there's things that happen sometimes that are just, you could never ever expect something like it to happen and it can really mess you up. and. I think, including myself, in the past when things of like that have happened, is just you get so discouraged that a lot of times you want to just quit. And I mean, I kind of felt like that a little bit, but then I was like, I don't, I'm not going to do that. Like, I don't have that ability, or I, I just, I can't have that luxury of just not continuing, you know, to work as hard as I can. But I'm going to explain it here in just a minute um, because it's really crazy. But again, let me say hello to some of you guys as you're coming in and then we'll get started because I think people are just finishly coming in. I watched that too and those pantry doors were freaky. Said Tiger Tail, what up? Um, 
did the bank block that $500 dono? What? Wait, what? Wait, what? What? Hold on. Dude, are you kidding? Thank you, living life behind the camera for the support. Not supposed to do this BCIM trin get my semi, but oh well, also tell her mom sup for me lol upside down face. For real? Dude, what the hell? You didn't have to do that. You guys know who that is? That's the homie Pickle. Pickle, what are you doing, bro? Oh my god, dude, you did not have to do that, man. I was actually, Pickle was live streaming this week. You guys should check Pickle's uh, channel out. Um, that's his channel name there. You can just click on it and subscribe and go and watch later. But he travels in his semi truck all over the country and he's always getting into crazy stuff. Like, either he's getting into crazy stuff, crazy stuff's happening to him, crazy stuff's happening around him, and he records a lot of it. Um, and it, it sometimes it's just insane. As a matter of fact, he kind of got arrested um, for something so dumb when he was driving his semi. Um, yeah, it was it was crazy. I don't think they took him to jail, but I think it was kind of like those sign and go kind of thing, a promise to appear. But pickle, bro, what are you doing, man? You didn't have to do that, dude. I mean, I really appreciate it, but pickle, pickle, pickle. I've met pickle. And um, we've got plans to hang out because he's going to be coming to Florida here soon. And, uh, bro, you didn't have to do that. Now I'm going to have to really treat you to a good time when you come to Florida, man, for real. But, damn, Pickle, I wasn't even looking at that. And um, I seen Mr. Bean's comment said, did the bank block that $500 dono? I was like, what? Um, no, they, uh, like, uh, Super Chats, like, um, it doesn't have anything to do with the bank. So Super Chats is through YouTube. And then YouTube uh, basically processes it like on your next paycheck or something. So like in six weeks or so, um, man, that's going to come in handy, bro. Thank you, Pickle. Like I said, you, you didn't have to do that, man. Oh, my God. You didn't have to donate anything, man. Uh, I'm doing good, Kilgon. I'm doing a lot better today. But... That that's that's pickle, isn't it? Yeah, KDD, that's pickle. I know my all my OG fans know pickle. That's for sure. That's crazy, bro. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna have to try to figure out where the hell I was now. I can't even think anymore. Um, Stephanie King, yo, thank you for becoming a member. <laughs> that's a member noise. I love that. Sometimes the audio and the, the um. Like when you do like a direct donation or, or a, a super chat, if you type something in there, it'll say it out loud. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but today it seems to be working. And then if you become a member, um, if you click the join button, you become a member, it makes that noise. So just a kind of cool, funny noise. But uh, thank you for that, Stephanie. Pickle, you're crazy. Everybody go subscribe to Living Life Behind the Camera if you're not. And make sure you go into one of his videos and show him some love. That, that's just that's insane bro i appreciate that um wow okay so hey thank you for that abigail i appreciate you watching uh my work at the hospital is haunted dang hillary gotta hit it up all right so i'm gonna get into this crazy week guys so i mentioned a little bit about uh about a week or week and a half ago something i was gonna start trying to do on my second channel if you didn't know, I had a second channel. It's called Blind Savage Vlogs. I don't really upload on there, um, but I'm going to be doing um, something a little bit different on there. Um, and there's a little bit of a story behind it, which I'm putting out a video this week, which will kind of explain more of it, but I'll give you the really quick thing. Um, about 10 years ago, I was going through a divorce and I was staying at my house alone. My kids were going back and forth between their mom and my house. And when the kids weren't there, I was just like super depressed um, just being at the house. So I decided to go stay at my mom's house for a while. And when I ended up coming back to the house, I walked in the door and there was glass all over the floor. And somebody 
broke the chandelier and I'll tell you in the video more about that how how and what they did to break that but I realized somebody robbed my house and just such a I mean for anybody that's ever been robbed or everyone's ever somebody's intruded into their house like that it, it's just the worst feeling ever um, well since I was a kid probably five or six years old I used to go to sporting events the World Series, NBA, Dolphins, Hurricanes, and I had this chest my grandfather gave me, and every game, I would keep the ticket stubs. So I had like literally hundreds of ticket stubs. They took that, and then again, ever since I was a little kid, I used to collect baseball cards, and basketball cards, and football cards, and I had a very big collection. Honestly, I probably had about 25,000 cards, and in today's market, because Sports cards, if you don't know, ever since COVID started, sports cards have skyrocketed. They've blown up. they become this huge thing, just like Pokemon cards. I guess people are stuck at home, so they need to be more entertained or have cool stuff to do or hobbies. Um, just like video games have become more expensive and, and they sell out and you can't even get a dang Xbox or, or a, a PlayStation nowadays. Same thing with cards. I would say my collection today, probably $100,000 which sucks because my original plan was to hold those cards because this is 10 years ago, so I was like 33, 34, so I'd stopped collecting 10 years or 15 years before that. And they stole all the cards. So I was gonna give them to and hand them down to my son when he turned 18. And obviously that's not gonna happen, or at least I didn't think that's gonna happen. So, I, I ever since then I, I, I gave up. I don't want anything to do with sports cards. Anytime somebody talks about a baseball or basketball or football cards, like it just makes me sick. Um, and I just I, I didn't want everything to do with it. Well, recently, um, I've started on YouTube watching like if you go onto YouTube, it, it, they have these things called box breaks. And it's basically where you get like brand new cards in the box and you open them. So for example, I have some football cards right here. So this is like a specific one right here. 2020 football has all the big quarterbacks and you get one autograph per box and two memorabilia cards. And the memorabilia cards, there's ones like this. This is a Miami Dolphins to a tag of Aloha which is an autographed, uh, and that's an actual patch from his jersey. And it's, it's basically numbered, like this one's numbered to, I think they only made like 99 of these, I think it is. I forget where, I don't know where the number is. Oh, there it is, right there to 99. And they have other really cool stuff, like cards nowadays, they, they look, they look pretty neat like they have all these cool little designs and stuff and and they make all different kind of stuff like that uh, I was trying to see like a normal patch card but I don't know where I have one right now anyhow you guys get the point um, so these cards basically skyrocket now what a box break is is well for example tomorrow if you look at let's see what is it tomorrow so tomorrow this box right here that box right there these right here and these and these i think it's those right there i'm going to be opening these up on a live stream tomorrow on my other channel which is blind savage vlogs now what what they're doing or what people are doing to make it a business or 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 whatever is they're going on to eBay. I guess like there's certain people they're big enough and they have a big enough following into sports cards where they don't have to do it on eBay. But for like me, where I'm just starting out on it, um, I would do it on eBay. So for example, the other day I set up 32 auctions, okay? And I started them all at like $5 a piece and it represents all 32 teams. So all 32 auctions are exactly the same. It's to open up these packs and these boxes and what each individual auction for is for each team. So for example, those cards that I just showed you, that was probably about five or $600 worth of cards. That's what it would cost you to buy those. Most people don't have five or $600 to spend to open up cards. And it's so hard to get them at stores nowadays 
really cheap because they sell out immediately. So what's become very popular is these box breaks because you can go and bid on the team that you want. So, for example, I like the Miami Dolphins. The Miami Dolphins have some good rookies from 2020. So I would bid on the Miami Dolphins. And, of course, if you're a Dallas fan or you're a, you know, whatever team, you know, I, the biggest teams are the Dolphins, the Chargers, um, the Eagles, every, any team that has a good uh, rookie from last year. Um, and those teams sell for a lot more. Like you might have one team sell for 50 or $60. You might have other teams that only sell for like five to $10. And when I open these cards on a live stream, let's say I pull this card, for example. Uh, let's say I pull this card right here. Well, that is a Tua rookie for the Miami Dolphins. So whoever bid and won the Miami Dolphin auction I would send them this card along with any other cards from that team. So I think you guys kind of get the, the point. And it's become super popular because, again, you can get a team and buy a team and be able to participate in opening the whole, you know, lot of cards. And you can get, there's cards, and I'm not even kidding, there's cards that you can pull. And I see it all the time because I watch other YouTubers' videos that are worth up to $100,000, even more. I've seen cars people have pulled that are sell selling for a half a million dollars. But I would say, you know, a lot of cars are 10,000, 1,000, 500, like if you get the really good rare ones, um, you know, it could be any amount of, uh, of cards. And it's a cool thing. And these auctions that go on eBay, every day there's hundreds of them and there's hundreds of people that are doing it. So I decided, and this is where things start going wrong. Here, here's, here's where I get stressed out. So I got paid about a week ago. And, you know, I usually have just enough money to pay my bills. And that's about it. Like, maybe to live on for like two weeks. And in the last two weeks, I'm always broke. Well, I'm tired of doing that. So I decided what I was going to do. And I did a lot of research. I watched things. I, I looked at other people's auctions that were ending, seeing what their team sold for, seeing how much it cost to buy the product, how much they were getting back in return. And they're all making a profit. So I'm like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Last Sunday, okay, I didn't do Savage Sunday last Sunday. And you'll know why, because I was in a very bad mood for this very reason. I decided when I got paid, I think it was on Friday or Saturday last week, that I was gonna, I know this sounds stupid, but I decided I was gonna take my rent money. I know this is dumb. Well, it's dumb now, but I mean, I thought it was foolproof at the time. I was gonna take my rent money and I was gonna spend it on all these cards. Then what I was gonna do was set up these auctions so that every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of last week, I would have these box breaks. So when the auction's in, they pay right away. So I would be able to recoup that $2,000 that I spent on cards in less than a week. And normally I can pay my rent by the sixth of each month. So I was like, okay, I can get enough, I can get the $2,000 back at least by the sixth, and then I can maybe make another five or six or seven or 800 or even $1,000 by the next week. Well, didn't go that way unfortunately but it wasn't my fault so I had auctions up I had a bunch of auctions up last Sunday and Sunday afternoon I happened to go into eBay to check because I had things ending the next day and all my auctions were gone I had about $500 in stuff that I sent out that it was in my processing like to be processed to be paid and because it takes like two or three days and it set on hold. So I'm like, wait, they, they ended all my auctions. They put everything on hold. I can't even put any more auctions on. Do you want to know why they put my account on hold? Because they asked me, where are my products coming from? And they wanted receipts of where my products were coming from. Now, it really irritated me because of one reason. Everything that I bought, I bought on eBay. So all they had to do is go to my purchasing, my purchased items, and they would see that I bought the items on eBay, and then I was selling them on eBay. So it was messed up. Sunday goes, so of course I, I tell them that. Um, I wait for a response Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. 
Come Wednesday morning, I still didn't hear anything. I got really upset. I finally found a way to call them and I talked to them and they were like, oh, you're just gonna have to wait, but they should respond to you today. So lo and behold, 30 minutes later, they respond and said, we got that information, thank you very much. Then they're like, and in an effort to keep our platform safe, we also need a copy of your ID card and a utility bill. And I'm like, oh my God, like, of course I can just add that really quick. But then I'm thinking, oh, am I gonna have to wait another three or four days for them to actually, you know, review it? Sure enough, I uploaded it right away on Wednesday. I think it was Wednesday morning, Friday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And it wasn't until I think Friday night or Saturday, they said they viewed it and they said my account is reinstated. And I'm like, now I'm sitting here stressed because now I have to restart all the auctions then I have to wait for them to sell. Then I have to wait for it to ship it out. I have to wait for them to get it. Then I have to wait for them to process my money. So all my money was basically tied up in cards. And I, I feel stupid, except for the fact that I know it's gonna work. Like I know I can make a profit. It's a cool way for me to get back into what I used to love doing. Um, and maybe also start collecting stuff to give to my son in a couple years. Um, so I just thought it was a good transition to get back into it. And again, instead of spending that $2,000 and being broke, I could take that, flip it, make $1,000. Then I can, before my rent is actually late, pay my rent back because I've already sold stuff and then have an extra $1,000. So I'm not broken at the end of the month. So that backfired. So it's been a very stressful week but everything's gonna work out you know it's it it's stressful but sometimes guys in life you can prepare for things as much as possible and sometimes there's things that you just can't foresee happening and you end up getting screwed like you get screwed there's just no doubt about it you just get screwed and, and it's not your fault there's nothing you can do about it and you can just whine and complain about it or you can try to do whatever you can to fix it. And that's basically what I've been doing all week. So I wanted to just explain that story. Also, tomorrow um, I have 32 auctions ending on eBay. Um, so if anybody here or anyone watching likes football cards, like there's basketball and baseball, but for this particular week, I only got football cards. So. These really cool cards, like I said, um, in the description of this video, like right under where it says like direct donation link, there is a thing that talks about, um, you know, the, the football auctions. And I'm doing a live stream on my second channel, Blind Savage Vlogs, tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern time. The auctions that I have on eBay, those 32 auctions for all the teams, they start ending because I think what happens is a lot of the bids don't come until like the last 20 minutes of the auction. Like most of them don't even have any bids right now, but that's just how it goes. You don't get the, a lot of bids till the very end. But if anybody's interested in getting part of this break for my live stream tomorrow, you can go check out my auctions. The link is there um, in the description. And all you have to do is click on that link and then go to uh, view seller others other items and you'll see like if you sort it by auctions ending soonest you'll see a bunch of it's basically they're all the same thumbnail um, the only difference is there's a different team on each thumbnail and also in the title all the titles are the same except it's a different team so if you you know want to get into it, you can definitely bid on those auctions. Like I said, somewhere between four and, well, they start ending because there's 32 of them and I staggered them to end every two minutes basically. So they start ending at like, I think 3.52 p.m. tomorrow. And then every two minutes until about almost like 4.45, five o'clock is when the last teams end. Um, so if, yeah, if you want to check it out, I mean, the cool thing is I know it a, it a, it a sell based on, you know, just eBay, but I know a lot of you, you know, not a lot. I would say some of you guys are really into this stuff too. Um, so if you want to bid on it and, and come to the live stream tomorrow, that'd be cool. Um, even if you just want to come to the live stream and check it out, see what it's like, because I set up two auctions. So the first 32 auctions for the first 32 teams in tomorrow, then on Thursday, is it Thursday? 
think Thursday. Either Wednesday or Thursday. I put Thursday on there, but now I'm wondering if it's on Wednesday. I can't remember. Either way, Wednesday or Thursday, I have another 32 auctions ending. And that is for like a little bit different. So tomorrow is, these are really cool. These optic mega boxes. Oh, actually, so tomorrow is this. I got it wrong. It's these two optic mega boxes. You get one autograph or one mem, mem, mem card in each box. And then same with this. That's another mega box. It's a different brand. So you get one autograph and something else in that. So it comes with those plus those. I think that's right. Or I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It, it, the picture's on there. And then on Thursday, I have this brand they call these blister boxes comes with an autograph comes with an autograph that and that and then i believe it's that and yeah something like that the pictures are on there oh it's no it's not it's not that one it's those and then these so this ends tomorrow that ends thursday you can check it out if you want to and that's all i'm going to say about that i just want to let you guys know where i've been this week what i've been stressing about um it's crazy. I mean, I, I kind of feel like if I could go back, maybe I shouldn't have done any of this. Like, I thought it was so foolproof. I thought I could just do that, you know, because it sounds stupid. You spend your rent money on cards, but if you know you could sell them automatically, make profit on it, and get, get the money back at least before you need it, I, I didn't see an issue with that. But I never saw eBay just suspending my account over something silly uh, temporarily so uh, you know you live and learn um, so at this point yeah I gotta I gotta do this stuff and uh, get these things sold so that's how it goes but it's all auction style like I said it starts at like four dollars or five dollars um, each team does and some teams will go up to fifty dollars some teams will stay at like five or ten dollars so that's it that's what that is so let me read your comments I'm doing better Tracy Ain't doing too bad. How are you doing? What up, Jeff Stoker? What up, what up? Hey, Tigger Tail. Hey, Hillary. What Pickle say? What Pickle say? Hillary's laughing at Pickle. What up, Stephanie? Yeah, actually, if you, um, funny enough, if you go and click on my other channel, you'll see one of the live streams is set up for, I don't know if it's for Thursday or for tomorrow, but um, I think it's for the one on Thursday. Thursday and then I have one tomorrow too. I haven't set that one up yet. Chelsea, she is she was in the shower. Is Chelsea doing videos anymore? Yes, she is. She's been editing actually. She's just been going through a lot of personal stuff trying to just get herself right. You know, she's she's gone through a lot and you know, she needed to take a break and honestly just concentrate on herself for a while. But she's now out of that, and she's now getting ready to start killing it back on YouTube. And we're going to start going on trips again. So I still have a good amount of videos to put out. Um, you know, I think it all started for Chelsea when we came back from our trip where she, from uh, Colorado. And she was sick pretty much the whole time um, from the altitude and, and the altitude sickness. And, and it was pretty bad. And then, if you didn't know, she left her uh sd card case on the seat back pocket of the airplane and they never found it so she lost literally hundreds and hundreds of hours of videos and that's really depressing because i've lost one or two sd cards she lost like 20 sd cards so it kind of i think it's what kind of started kicking it off and um she just, you know, decided that she really need to, to uh, you know, put it this way. She has a video that she's putting out either tomorrow or the next day, and it's going to explain everything. So I'll let her tell you because it's really her thing, and it will, you know, make a lot, a lot more sense coming from her than obviously with me. So definitely check out her video on Chelsea Luna. Again, she's dropping in the next couple of days, and then she's going to start dropping bangers again. So... It's definitely uh, long overdue, and uh, we're both excited about it, so for sure. Sierra, what up? Pumpkin's here. Where you at, Pumpkin? Constant, hello. I'm taking applications for a wife or a co-pilot. 
send resumes to drlove1700 at gmail.com. Yes, it's real Gmail. That is the homie pickle right there. If there's any single ladies out there looking for a man that makes a good living, he's on the road a lot, maybe needs a co-pilot sometimes, maybe it's good to have a little break sometimes, check out his channel. Check it out, living life behind the camera. For sure, Jeff Stoker, what up, man? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff, I appreciate that. Gallup Crush, what up, homie? Thank you for the super chat, bro. Catherine Ewes was following me. Wait, who? Catherine Ed, Ed, Edwards? I don't know who that is. Oh, he shared something. Hold on. Let's see if that still works. Oh, that's what it is. Boom, boom, boom. You see anything on the screen? Thank you to our fam Gallup Crush for the direct Thank donation. $7.02 oh, Purple Heart. Hello. Can I speak to Emma Smith, please? Oh, my God. What the heck is that? I can't see it. Yeah, I want to speak to Emma Smith, um, the first Whitechapel murder in 1888 by Jack the Oh my gosh. Go yeah, check out here. Jeff Stoker, man. That is crazy. I can't see it. It makes me nervous when I can't see it. Oh no, where'd it go? Wait. Oh, there we go. Okay. Wait, why is it still doing that? Oh my gosh, why won't it stop? Okay, it stops in three seconds. I can't say that. You know, I gotta be really careful with those because thank goodness you're a good fam. Uh, but if there's ever any trolls that wanted to send a, you know, a screen share like that, I could be in trouble. <laughs> so I gotta figure out how to end those just in case I ever needed to. Um, but oh, that's Gallup Crush. Thank you, Gallup Crush. I appreciate that, man. Pretty cool. I haven't had a, uh, a shared media in a while. It's pretty cool when you go to the, um, like on the direct donation link that's in the description, because they have super chats and they have direct donations. First of all, you don't have to donate anything, guys. I just appreciate you being here. It's not about donations. Like, I just appreciate you guys coming and spreading the love and, and talking amongst yourself. And dude, that's the best. Like, it really makes me really excited. Um, and I appreciate that. But they have an option where you can share a YouTube video and you put the timestamp and it will show or play the noise uh, or like a song or music or something right on the live stream. Pretty neat. Um, let's see. I'm still a little behind here on comments and everything else. Uh, Silvest Silvis Silvestra. Sil Silvestra. I'm going to mess it up. Silvestra Flores. Thank you for the super chesses. Love your videos and Chelsea, the fam do too. Thank you. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. Uh, Mr. Bean says, I hope you uploaded the half hour and passed out footage from the hospital. Yes, that's what I'm going to be dropping tomorrow, Mr. Bean. So be ready for that, man. Part two is going to be dropping. It's going to be crazy. The nursing home where I work is haunted AF. Dude, start recording something, man. And oh, uh, thank you, Sylvie Strud. Also became a member. That's what's up. Uh oh, the noises don't work no more. Oh, maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. Thank you, Mr. Stephanie Bean. 5,268 for the support. The nursing home where Dude, I work is haunted. Yeah. Punky, where are you? Oh, she must must be in the bedroom with Chelsea or something. Amazing video. Thank you, Michael. It was um It was dude, that place was crazy, man. And like part one was crazy. That's the video, if you didn't know, where like I started out of a casket. Um, which is funny. Now I asked a question in that video and I asked, what is the other video that I did? Because in the last three years or four years there's only one video that I started out of a casket. And anybody that commented Waverly, Waverly, Waverly Hills Sanatorium, you would be correct. At Waverly Hills Sanatorium, I started the video off in a casket there too. So pretty, pretty crazy. But 
thought it would be uh, funny and also a cool way to just start a video. Uh, Pickle said, Pickle AK living light behind the camera said, Lori, it's because of the TM. Amy O'Lear, what up? She's been editing for months now. Well, that's the good thing, Gabe. She does have a lot of stuff ready. So when she comes back, she'll be back. Like, it's not going to just be like one video and then wait a few weeks. No, she has like a lot of stuff that she's been working on and editing so that when she uploads in a day or two, she can start putting out several videos a week. So it's going to be really cool. She be fully back. I have to work early and I'm falling asleep. Oh, thank you for being here, Louise. I appreciate that. Other bills can wait, but if you spend your rent on something happens, you could be homeless. Yeah, Nate, that's that's where I kind of regret um, regret it. Uh, I should have started like smaller, but my thinking was if I started smaller, I would just do one little thing and then I would still be broke after a couple weeks and I wouldn't have any money to even buy any more product to even do anymore. So I figured if I did this, at least I could take my profits and just keep doing it. But I didn't expect to be down for a week. But you know what, at the end of the day, I talked to my landlord, I told him I'm gonna be a week late. I told her I'll just pay her a late fee and she was okay with it. So, you know, at the end of the day, everything's gonna be fine. Um, it, it's just it's so stressful. Not to mention, on top of everything else, top of everything else, it's crazy. Um, my son's 16th birthday is Thursday, and my daughter's 20th birthday. My daughter, Julia, I can't believe she's freaking 20. Her 20th birthday is Tuesday. So May 11th is Julia's birthday, and May 13th is Carter's birthday. So yeah that kind of sucks too with i mean with the financial issues so pain in the booty and bad timing so i guess i uh i stepped in it but you know i'm gonna make it work i kind of want to make a youtube channel should i james absolutely hillary just make sure you do something that you love don't go out and buy a bunch of camera stuff use your phone just like i do most of the time um and if you start getting some views don't just quit your job i've seen a lot of people they like, dude, YouTube does not pay a lot. Like, don't do YouTube for money, okay? Because, I mean, if you get to a point where your channel is around how my channel is, you can make more money as a full-time waiter. So, you know, if you get into the millions, you know, I think you could start, you know, making a lot more. If you upload it daily, you could do a lot better. And, and again, that's why I'm trying to get more um, consistent with my uploads. And uh, definitely will be doing that, so. Got the videos filmed, so that's the good part. I got my editor, so that's another good part. What's up, Everyday Treasures? Yep, she definitely is getting back on that grind. Been to Colorado. Nice, Chris. Um, Let's see. Poor Chelsea. Chelsea's doing good, actually. She's doing great. Very proud of her. Um, And she's going to be back better than a... Did you say you have a pit bull? Nope. We have the opposite of a pit bull. We have a, a pit kitten. I don't know. What's the opposite of a pit bull? Um, yeah, Pomeranian, basically. And yeah, I guess she's with Chelsea right now. So I don't know. I think she was going to give her a bath. From Southwest Oklahoma. What up, Paul Tracy? Good to see you, man. Uh, where do you guys live in Florida? I'm going to be in Florida next week. No way, Larry. That's awesome. We are around the Treasure Coast area, West Palm Beach about 40 minutes north of West Palm Beach. Um, that scared the hell out of me. I'm sorry, Tracy. Well, tell Chelsea hello and happy Mother's Day. Again, happy Mother's Day to all you guys, too. What's with that super chat? I'm saying, Delphin, that's the homie Pickle right there. He's, uh, Pickle is a very, very nice, generous guy. That's all I can tell you. Um, Jeff, what up, Jeff? He said, how was the coffee samples I sent you and Chelsea a while back? All gone, Jeff. That's how good they were. All gone, bro. They were really good, dude. Thank you so much again for that. Um, Chelsea scarfed that down, really. I mean, I helped her. I ain't going to say I didn't. But, yeah, Chelsea, uh, she really liked that coffee. Thank you for sending that. That was really nice of you. Next week, I'm going to have the uh, fam room set up, too. So I'm excited to show you guys that, finally. 
Uh, I swear, I'm just always so far behind. I feel like my head is just, yeah, not screwed on right. Uh, hey, James, how have you been? How's Chelsea? We doing good? Yo, James, I'm blind. Also love your videos. No way, Chasen. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you're doing good, man. Uh, let's see, let's see. Happy Mother's Day to all those mothers out there. That's right, Daryl. What's up, Beverly Horn? Good to see you. What's that other sound? Um, there is two different sounds. Well, actually, technically, there's three sounds. If there's... I'll turn it down a little bit if it bothers you guys. Um, but if um, somebody becomes a member, it does that, you know, that noise. Um, and then if there's a super chat, there's a noise. And then it'll talk if somebody types something. And then, man, I got some in my eye. And then um, a direct donation that makes uh, another noise. And then it talks. They kind of make different noises. Uh, hey, James, hope everything's better now. Pumpkin and the kitty are somewhere with Chelsea. Um, I think she's giving baths to them. What's up, Lee? Good to see you, bro. So the cat and the dog are doing just fine. They're doing great. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Sylvestri Flores, again, thank you, man. Appreciate the, uh, the love, man. Jeff Stoker, you are the man, brother. What up, Lee? Says, stay safe, bro. I will, Lee. Thank you, bro. Uh, Robin says, so love your videos and your lives. Thank you, Robin. It's not always the best life ever, but, uh, I mean, I remember, I think that was, let's see, that was Elsa Kong. Thank you so much for that. Um, I mean, I have a blessed life. I'm not going to lie. I have a beautiful girl, um, that I love very much, that loves me very much. Um, I have an amazing fam. I mean, you guys are just incredible you encourage me when i'm down um i mean for what a lot of you guys tell me that we do to help you in certain things it's exactly what you guys do for us i mean i definitely would not be doing youtube if if i didn't have you guys like if i just had a normal fan base on youtube um like most channels do i wouldn't do it because i mean what's the point i'm i, I struggle doing youtube and I mean, I'm not, I'm gonna stop struggling. I'm gonna tell you that right now. That's why I'm coming up with all these ideas. And even though some of you guys out there that don't quite understand the whole sports card thing, trust me, um, it's profitable. And if I had the money to put into it, I'll be able to make plenty of money. Let me explain one thing to you guys. There's a guy on YouTube, okay? Now he started selling his auctions for his box breaks is what they call it. Um, on eBay well he started building up his YouTube channel and his client base well I think he has 26 or 30,000 subscribers his channel is called Layton's L-A-Y-T-O-N-S sports cards this guy does like 10 live streams a day and the live streams last anywhere between like 5 minutes and about 25 minutes and all he does is he reads out the people. Well, see, instead of doing it on eBay, he has his own website. So people, he'll tell people that he's doing, these are 10 box breaks he's doing on Saturday. And they're all different prices. I mean, they could be from buying in from $10 up to $1,000. Um, he does 10 a day or even more. I calculate, I spent a whole day one day calculating how much this guy makes. I said he has less than 30,000 subscribers or he's around that. He made last week about eighteen thousand dollars. He made eighteen thousand dollars in one week just doing quick live streams, opening up football cards or basketball cards or baseball cards. I'm not even joking. Like this guy, that was just last week. The guy probably makes close to a hundred thousand dollars a month. 100 grand. He probably makes a million dollars a year. Million dollars a year. All he does is have a website where people go and buy into his sports cards. He'll tell everyone that, like, there's certain kind of sports cards. Like, this is the ones that I have are like the medium range. They have ones, high end ones, called like National Treasures or Panini One or Encase, which are different brands of sports cards. And for example, National Treasures. It's a box and it has one pack. 
that cost three to five thousand dollars per pack i'm not joking three to five thousand dollars per pack and all the cards in there are like numbers so they they're either uh, one of a hundred, one of fifty, one of twenty-five, one of five, one of ten, one of one. But every week, this guy pulls cards, certain cards that are worth hundred thousand dollars, two hundred thousand dollars, fifty thousand dollars, twenty thousand dollars. So people buy into those guys' streams. Now, obviously, thirty-two teams. Not everybody is going to hit it big, but several of the teams do. And in a way, it's almost like. Like I say, do it for fun, because if you start doing it like to make money, like buying into these box breaks, it's more gambling at that point. So you do it for the fun, not for to make money. Now, yes, you can make a lot of money, um, you know, if the right card gets pulled for your team. But this guy makes close to a hundred grand a month. Like, it's insane. It blows my mind. So I'm telling you. This could be my answer to just being able to do, you know, five to ten live streams a week on my second channel. Quick live streams, open up some cards, ship them out, which is probably what takes most of the time, organizing the cards and into each individual team and then packaging them and shipping them, which isn't too bad. Um, but if I could do that on the side and just spend an hour or two a day doing that and make way more money than than youtube then i could like relax a little bit and just keep enjoying doing youtube and not have to stress about money and finances and how to get bills paid and you know it's just a, another thing you guys know like a lot of you guys that follow me you guys know that over the last year or so i've been trying to figure out ways to you know make extra money you know, get a side job, you know, do something that's not going to take up all my time so I can't, you know, not film my videos and, and you know, stop filming because I don't want to ever stop doing that for you guys. But something that I can do part time to help, you know, make the money that I'm, you know, that I need. And I think this might be the answer. And, you know, there's, there's, there's a huge story behind it, you know. And so, yeah, pretty, pretty cool little city situation. But definitely not the uh, the norm. But yeah, come to my live stream tomorrow on Blind Savage Vlogs, and you guys will check it out. What up, Jared? Yo, why are you supposed to um? Now again, I might have messed up, but you need to message me, bro. Send me an email at swish five nine four at gmail dot com, cause I got something for Carly Joe that I want to send her, and I'm gonna be doing emails tonight, so I will respond. I have like several emails. I'm super behind. And I need to do that. I need to ship some stuff. I'm going to be up all night. So if you email me, I'll respond tonight because I'm going to be up all night. So I'm going to be busy, 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 busy. Yes, tomorrow. Uh, can you drop the video where you passed out in the basement? Omar dropped his last week. He did. Omar, I didn't know that. Omar dropped part two of that video of the hospital. I didn't even notice. Oh, crap. Damn. I would have dropped it if I knew that. I will drop it tomorrow, uh, 100%. I'm gonna be working on that tonight, so it's another thing I gotta do tonight. Uh, but damn, I didn't I didn't know Omar dropped part two because I would have been in more of a hurry to drop it if I knew that. Um, so I guess some of you have already seen Omar's video, and it's crazy, but you'll see my video and kind of see what happened. It's, it's, it's insane. But thank you for telling me that Paranormal Magnet. I did not even know. I love Texas, Beverly. It was a great time. We had a really good time there in uh, in Texas. What's that song? I ain't gonna try to do it. Never mind. The ding. Mm, I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> I'll mess it up. I'll mess it up. Um, yo, Mark Eider. What up, bro? Thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate that. Challenges. Thank you for the super chats. I've been following. You since you used to do the videos with Omar. Yo, I appreciate that. I still do videos with Omar, though. We just got back from a trip um, just a couple weeks ago, actually, where we went to Texas, and we filmed a ton of videos. So I think my last two videos I put out, um, I filmed with Omar, but I got another, like, four or five, maybe six videos with Omar. I still have, like, two or three more videos from my Colorado trip, too, um, including one of my favorite videos, from the Black Monarch Hotel where we got trapped in a ghost town, like a real ghost town. Um, we literally got trapped there. And um, 
I haven't worked on that yet or put that out because I have so much footage. I literally have like four or five hours of footage that I have to go through. So the editing for that is going to be insane. I might even have to do two parts on that. So I do need to start working on that. Maybe I'll just send that to Rich. Rich, thank you, bro. I mean, that's what I'll do. Even just uploading all that footage to Rich is a lot of work, though. Um, yeah, DJ, trust me. I've been homeless, too, bro. It does suck. And I definitely am not going to do that. You know, the good news is, like I said, everything's still working to plan like I originally planned it. I lost a week, which kind of messed me up. But the thing is, I have those 32 auctions ending tomorrow. Again, between about 4 and 5 p.m. Eastern time. And... Between those 32 auctions, I'll probably get about five to $600, I'm gonna say about. Um, then I have auctions ending Thursday for another box break. And again, I'll get another five or 600 from that. Um, I did pay half my rent the other day, um, just so you know. So I did not pay my rent at all. I ended up having like half the money for my rent, um, but I still have to pay um, other bills too, so. Yeah, but just, yeah, I got to get these things done. I got to ship it out, wait for it to come in. Then they have to process my payment. Then I have to wait for it to hit the bank. So I'm still probably, like I'd say, another another week away from getting at least the money that I put into it. Um, so it's going to be a stressful week again this week, but at least everything's rolling it's a lot better in this situation than being in the situation last week where I couldn't even put anything up. It's like I bought all this stuff to sell and then I had no ability to sell it. That was the worst. That was the worst. For sure. So at least I don't have to worry about that. So we are good to go. Christina Salas, what up? Davros, what up, bro? You in the football cards, man? <laughs> My son turns 20 on the 20th. Yo, that's awesome. Um, as a matter of fact, I have auction, those auctions ending tomorrow. I, I take it back. I said I had 32 auctions ending tomorrow. I actually have 31 auctions ending tomorrow because I promised my buddy, Omar Gosh TV, that on my first box break, because I was telling him about how it works and he's really excited to check it out tomorrow. I told him on my first box break, I'm going to give him the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So I didn't put that team up. Uh, forbid and any cards that I pull that are Tampa Bay Buccaneer players I'm sending them to my buddy Omar so he's gonna be in my live stream tomorrow watching it and uh, it should be a lot of fun so definitely come come to Blind Savage Vlogs tomorrow I haven't been on their channel in a while but we're gonna do a cool fun live stream on there and uh, watch me open up some cards it won't be a very long live stream it probably take about 20 to 25 minutes for me to open up the cards and Chelsea's also going to be in that live stream with me tomorrow. Um, I realize that I have a hard time sometimes reading, like, the player or the team on the card. So she's going to assist me and help me in the live stream tomorrow. So it should be really cool. Definitely. I'll also put out a tweet uh, possibly tomorrow to let you guys know. But, yeah. What up, Eliza Kong? What up, what up? Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Challenges. Because I've been... Oh, that's right. I read that one. Robin says buy storage lockers and sell online auction. That's a really good idea too, Robin. Um, honestly, anything in the resale market, anything is great right now. Going to flea markets, finding items, and then reselling them online. Um, you know, sport cards, obviously. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff. So definitely when I start getting extra money, I'd love to do things like the storage lockers and and different things because if you guys didn't know um, when I came out of high school I went to college for two years and I got my associate's degree and I quit college because I started a resale business I used to buy and resell stuff like on eBay and on on different wholesaler sites my own website I had a store and I did mostly electronics and computer stuff back then um, so I'm very familiar I did it for 10 years buying and reselling stuff and, and dealing with everything that comes with it so I'm, I'm very confident with it like I know what I'm doing um, again I just had bad fortune and bad luck with with what happened last week so sometimes it happens though and sometimes you just got to keep going man you just got to make it work it was a tough week just not being able to do anything I felt helpless um, 
and now I'm just kind of freaked out because I should have had it now instead of having to wait, but it, it'll work out. My son, my daughter, like I'll find a way to take my daughter out for her birthday. My son, I promised him a computer. Um, I'm gonna have to tell him he's gonna have to wait a week or two, but he's very understanding. I'm sure he'll be okay with that. Um, yeah, we'll make it work, you know? Definitely. Dolphin for life, bro. You didn't have to do that. Thank you for the super chat, bro. Well, I say bro. Why do I always do that? I always say bro. I hate that I always say that. It's not bro. I say, you know, I, I don't know why I always do that. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Sis, what, what should I say? I don't know. I got to think of a new thing. I just say Dolph. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I got to stop saying bro. I do that every single live stream and I catch myself. At least I catch myself now. But yo, thank you. That was very generous of you. You did not have to do that. Thank you so much. And Jeff Stoker says, if you look for something to do uh, on the side for extra cash, I can help you with that. If you like, I can email you some information. Sure, Jeff. I mean, I'm always, uh, you know, open and, and willing to look at any anything, any situation. So why not, dude? Definitely, you can send me an email for sure. I'll definitely respond and everything. Um, that is dope. Um, Proud Progress Progressive says, I have one, I have someone say I cannot have YouTube channel as I have an ugly face. What? You better tell that person to get another life. That, I'm going to tell you what, it don't matter what you look like. It doesn't matter what you sound like. Dude, it matters how you can entertain people. And, and, and it, you don't even have to just be like, you know, dog and pony show entertain. You could just entertain them with something you're into, something that you're passionate about. Because I guarantee you there's other people that are passionate about some of the things that you're passionate about. And and it doesn't dude, whoever told you that, dude, they don't listen to them. That's ridiculous. Like that is that is so ridiculous. They're probably just hating on you for whatever reason. Um, a lot of people do that. So don't don't listen to them. That's that's ridiculous. Um, come to Oklahoma. Definitely would love to come to Oklahoma. What up, Sheila from Idaho? What up? I've been on YouTube 13 years and I don't have views. So it requires hard work. You're right, Paul. It really does. I mean, YouTube is not easy. It, it is not easy at all. That's why I tell people, if you're going to start doing YouTube, do it for fun. Do it with something that you have passion for. Because it's not like you could just start YouTube and all of a sudden you start making tons of money. That's just not how it works. I think a lot of times with people that I've ran into in the past where they start doing YouTube and they start getting a little traction, start getting some views and they're like, yeah, I'm going to quit my job. I always tell people that's such a bad idea. Like wait till you start making money and on a consistent basis before you even think about something like that because you don't ever want to get your, like why would you want to leave a good job that you have for something that is not going to be consistent until you make it consistent? You know what I mean? I'm not saying you can't make it consistent. You definitely can. Um, it's just a, it's a lot of hard work. Omar, he's at home right now. He's a chilling. Oh, thank you, Jacob. Says I love your videos. Speaking of videos, I need to get editing. I got a lot of work to do tonight. Hey, thank you for being here, Larry. I appreciate that. Good comment. Helping with good deeds and good for the soul. That's right, DJ. Carly Joe from Iowa. Ohio. Ohio. Where, where, where? Dude, Jared, I love you guys, man. Definitely send me an email for sure. What's up? From Colorado. What up, Quentin? Thank you for being here. What up, Julie? Paranormal Magnet. Um, I'm having it hard financially because I'm trying to do a lot of things. Crystal, I feel your pain, bro. I feel your pain. This is a rough time right now for a lot of people. Like, this economy is not the greatest at all. And uh, it is definitely rough for a lot of you guys. And uh, I do pray for you guys that, because um, I know I know a lot of you guys struggle with all different kinds of things. And uh, I'm always here for you guys. You know, I, I'm always here. If there's anything I can ever do, you know, I'll always do whatever I can, you know. I mean, it's tough, obviously. I can't always do everything, but I, I, I do my best. Good night, Steph. Thanks for being here. Are you going to get married to Chelsea? If I can ever become stable financially, possibly. Fix your mic? Oh, no. What's wrong with my mic? I'm going to have to go back and listen to this live stream. I didn't know there was a problem. 
Um, are those sports cards old or new? These are all new. These are all 2020 uh, football. So they have the uh, they have the good they have the good rookies. So these are the, some these are the most popular players right here, um, and probably the most popular team. So you got the um, Justin Herbert, which is for the Chargers. That team usually sells for a lot more than the other ones. Cincinnati Bengals, Joe Burrow, number one pick of last year's draft. The Dolphins, Tua Tagovailoa, another good quarterback. Um, and then you know that's that's some of the better teams. Some of, it's funny certain certain other teams they don't sell for nothing like the Giants. You could usually pick that team up for about five to ten bucks. Um, just thinking off the cuff here, really quick. Uh, I don't know. Probably I, I would say a good fifty percent of the teams, probably fifteen of the teams, sell for between five and ten dollars. Like on the auctions that are ending tomorrow. But then there's teams that will sell for fifty to a hundred dollars. So, and that's where the money really makes it worth it, you know, considering I put a lot of money out. Like, God forbid I put all this money out and then I get less than what I actually put in. That'd be a disaster, but knock on wood. Um, I did a lot of research. I seen probably hundreds of people's auctions that ended and I researched, I counted up all the money that they made for those, deducted how much it would cost to buy the product deducted how much eBay's cut is, deducted how much it costs for shipping, etc. Every single one was profitable. So that's why I figured I couldn't go wrong with it. You know, just, yeah, timing-wise was not fun. But uh, your house, your know, house has been dope, actually. Ever since I burned that damn doll, I forgot I had to send Rich, um, I sent Rich the footage of what happened when I came back from my trip with Omar where I had a breakdown, Chelsea and I went at it, I took that damn doll and I stuck it in the thing and I lit it on fire like you ain't never seen. And I have never put that footage out yet because I have, um, I need to like make a beginning and an end to it to send to Rich. So that's another video I'll put out this week. But the good news is guys, there has been nothing crazy happening at our house. Um, honestly, Chelsea, her spirits have been lifted up high. Um, ever since I've been in a better mood ever since um, and we haven't noticed anything crazy happening at the house which is good so as crazy as it sounds that doll has some evil powers to it and um, never would have guessed it I mean never would have guessed it. it could be that crazy that real like in my own house but it's been good it's been really good so I appreciate that I appreciate you guys praying for me and uh, Chelsea for that too Looking forward to the hoodie. Yes, I'm so sorry. It's always taking so long. I know I suck, but I will have everything out. And uh, I'll definitely make it up to you guys, too, for sure. Michelle, we got one more member before we end the live stream. Yo, thank you for that. I appreciate it. Dope, the dope, dope. The dog came with the house. It sure as heck did. Jared, Carly Joe said, give me a kiss. Give me a kiss, uh, Carly Joe, mwah. Dude, love you, Carly Joe. I got a package I'm gonna send you, but I need your address. And I will respond back when you email me too, so that way you'll know I got your email. So if I ain't respond back, you better email me back the next day, because like, usually that's not the case. Usually, like, I'm so far behind on emails right now. I probably have emails from weeks ago, but Tonight, I'm staying up. I'm clearing out all my old emails, and I'm gonna be working all night doing all kinds of stuff. So it's about time I catch up and uh, get, get my life going here. So things are things are looking up. Things are definitely going in the right direction. And I uh, pre appreciate the prayers you guys have given for both me and Chelsea. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to kind of go over that with you guys tonight. I know it hasn't been super exciting live stream, but I will tell you this, next Sunday, guys, I'm gonna have a live haunted Savage Sunday for you guys. So it's gonna be an incredible week. Tomorrow I got part two of the crazy hospital video that I know a lot of you guys are waiting for. Then either on Tuesday or Wednesday I have a video dropping, um, which I ain't gonna tell you, it's a secret video. And then on Thursday or Friday I have another video dropping, uh, another haunted video from our trip. Uh, and then next Sunday, Savage Sunday guys, 
It ain't gonna just be me here sitting here talking to you. I'm gonna go out to a haunted location and we're gonna go live. So it should be a good time. Anyhow, hope you guys had, well, I hope you mothers out there had a really good Mother's Day again. Thank you guys for being the amazing heartbeat to the families that we all really need. I mean, you the glue that. I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm been mentally exhausted. And um, I'm gonna get to work here tonight. So I love you guys. And uh, I guess I will see you guys tomorrow. Also, like I said, if um, you wanna come over to my other channel, Blind Savage Vlogs, just to see what the whole, uh, you know, the football break thing that I was telling you guys about is, um, you can come over to my live stream tomorrow. It starts at 7 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow on that channel. And you can just see, you know, like I said, you can see kind of what I'm doing with the box break thing. And, um, yeah. And, you know, that way, if, uh, if you want to check out my eBay auctions, you could do that too. The link's in the description. But if you want to just watch tomorrow and then I have the one ending Thursday, that way you could kind of get a better idea of what it is. Because I'm sure to a lot of you guys, well, if you don't care about football, it doesn't matter. Um, but for some of you guys that like football or like collecting cards, then I'm sure it sounds exciting to you, but you could just watch it first. Otherwise, I have auctions any tomorrow between 4 and 5 p.m., which you're welcome to get on, you know, get on. I hope some fans, like, if I pull a card, like, that's worth 5000 or $10,000, which is possible in these boxes, I I just hope it's a fam that wins it. Like, I'm, I'm thinking 90 to 95% of the teams that I'm selling on eBay is gonna go to random people on eBay. But I'm hoping if I pull that right card, I hope it goes to that 5%, 1%, or you know, whatever fam may get involved with it. That would be super cool. That'd be such a great story. And if that happens, I'll make a video just on that. Anyhow, I'm gonna get to work. Got a lot to do. Thank you for all the love, guys. Sorry I was kind of all over the place, but uh, my, my head has been just going a million miles a minute in every direction. So I'm just trying to get so much done in so little time. Such a stressful week, but hey, God's great, guys. Good things, good things definitely do come to those who are patient. And, uh, you know, sometimes you just got to have some faith. Sometimes, you know, I always believe that prayer works, but doesn't always work. I don't always believe God answers prayers in the time frame that you want. I believe it happens in the time frame that he wants I also believe a lot of it has to do with your faith. Sitting there praying for something when you're sitting there and you don't believe God can actually do it for you, I don't think God would actually grant it. You know, but if you have the faith in God that he's going to, you know, help you out and even if he doesn't help you out the way you want in the time frame that you want, you still have the faith that he's going to help you out. That's when I believe God answers prayers, no matter what it is. That's when miracles happen. And uh, it's definitely something to think about. But I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace, guys. Love you. I'll tell Chelsea you all said hi, too. Oh, thank you um, for being here, guys. That's just...